So you're saying that it's completely possible for anyone, regardless of them scoring 45% in their ninth or 60% in their in their eighth, it is possible to score 93% or more in tenth. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's 100% possible. It is possible. Okay. Hey guys, a few days back, I had interviewed Kaustub, who actually scored 93% in his 10th standard board exams. And in this episode of the show, Kaustub is going to tell how you can score out of out or at least 90% in mathematics in studying in under 30 days, even if you have no clue of the subject whatsoever. So yeah, here's the interview from now onwards. As I said previously in my video that I will be bringing uh, someone very special and someone who actually scored 93% in uh, his 10th standard board exams. So hi Kaustub, welcome to the video. Thank you. Uh, first of all, congratulations for scoring a 93% in 10th. This is something not a lot of them can achieve. And for records, can you say what your uh, percentage previously was? In 9th, I scored around 64%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In 8th? In 8th, around the same. Around the same. 60, yeah. You were in the 60, 60s. 60s. Okay. So you're saying that it's completely possible for anyone, regardless of them scoring 45% in their 9th or 60% in their in their 8th, it is possible to score 93% or more in 10th. Yeah, uh, obviously, it's 100% possible. It is possible. Okay, that's awesome. Kaustub, say you got 30 days of time to complete math. Hmm. How would you go about the strategy? As in which lessons you'd start with? How would you start with math if you've got 30 days of time? So, maths. It's a scoring subject, I say. So, what I would prefer is every day hmm. give at least 45 minutes to one hour. Okay. Which it will surely help you. And finish the chapters which are easy to memorize, like trigonometry, circles. They're very easy to memorize. Okay. And uh, they won't ask many complex questions from there. Okay. Finish um, chapters like uh, mensuration, geometry, okay. all these chapters which will actually easy to where they're very easy. Okay. Like it's only formula based. Okay. And you can uh, score. Got it. Got it. So you're saying to start with chapters like these where it is easy to memorize the formulas. Okay. Only the formulas. The formulas. Okay. Okay. Because and then you, and uh, they have more weightage. Okay, yeah. Okay. Not a lot, but then they're better. So I would suggest them to go to go with those chapters okay got it got it there are chapters which will require more attention but then you don't need to give it in the start so finish what is easy okay and one more thing i would say is um, maths the uh, the tough part is the 20 mcqs okay it it is surely going to be very tricky okay. and you will you may lose marks in that so i would uh, recommend everyone to read the textbook the NCRT textbook is must. You should know where and what, what is there. Okay, in the textbook. Yeah, it's just reading it. It's not memorizing the old textbook. Okay, got it. I would preferably start by noting down all the formulas in the cha all the chapters, mm -hmm. and make sure that I've already mugged up these formulas. Okay. So as soon as I'm done with that, I would you know, start with chapters which have the most weightage such as um, linear equations and hey uh, sorry for interrupting in between the video because i forgot to tell something very important and that is follow me on instagram right now so you could message me or dm me uh, with any of the doubts that you've got with respect to exams or studies or anything and i will do my best to reply to each and every one of you uh, in no time and uh, you will get a lot of updates on the upcoming videos on uh, a few tricks and tips randomly uh, on some day as a story for you to apply practically and make the most out of your notes or make the most out of your exams so yeah do go to uh, instagram and follow me at the rate Shreyas G Venkatesh S-H-R-E-Y-A-S G-V-E-N-K-A-T-E-S-H the link uh, to the page is down in the description so you could go click that and uh, follow me on Instagram so yeah uh, let's go back to the video and there won't be any more interruptions but just this video chalo let's go back mensuration I guess I okay it, it's okay even if you don't know the chapters yeah it's, it's understood when you said that the chapters with the most wages what you're gonna start with yeah I would okay. start with the ones with the most weightage mm -hmm. 
and then I would come to the ones which are least weightage. Okay. And then uh, I, I would just go through the textbook. That is gonna last after you're done yeah, with the. Yeah, after I'm done with it. The, after you're done with the most weightage, and least, least weight. weightage, and there then are you, still chapters remaining. But okay. then I would prefer go like go through the textbook because the twenty MCQs. Okay. So I should be thorough with the textbook. Got it. So I would prefer uh, reading the textbook first mm -hmm. and then going to the other remaining chapters. Got it. Okay. So in that time, I can focus properly on the chapters which I am not very keen. Okay. Also, now that we know uh, on how to go about the chapters or how do we start with mathematics, uh, how do you write notes? Like, what 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 do you do in math? Like, you know. So the first thing is, uh, for each chapter, uh, a person has his own weaknesses and strengths of the same chapter also. So I would prefer him to write his own notes, but he should, he must write notes for each chapter, a page at least. Okay. So in that page, you must make uh, make points of uh, small small sentences, no, like the sentences which catch, which are needed. Okay. And also, in the formulas are must obviously in the, in his note, and he should keep it in uh, inside the textbook. Okay. Like fold it, keep it. That's what I did. With the formulas, that is. Yeah, with the formulas. Okay. A page, just a page of briefly what is required in in this chapter. What is your strength? What is your weakness? How much you need to work on the chapter? That's a better way than making points because anyone can make points about the same any chapter. Mm -hmm. You should know. I would prefer him to make points on what are his strengths and how much he has to work on this. Okay. Yeah. So you should make it like a diary kind. Got it. Uh, so so for a, for someone who's got only 30 days of time or seven days of time for that matter, mm. what would you tell them to uh, do? Like, w would you tell them to start uh, solving questions from NCRT or from previous year question papers or from RS Agarwal? I would suggest him to start with previous year's papers. Okay. Uh, because. Uh, doing previous year's question papers will help him know where he is, where he stands and on which chapter he needs to focus more. Okay. So doing previous year's paper is mm, better than focusing on RS Agarwal or NCRT example. Okay. Say you uh, say the say the dude is done with uh, uh, what do you say solving the question papers of previous years for that particular chapter. Uh, should he go with NCRT or should he go with uh, RS Agarwal? If he's got 30 days? Oh, if he has 30 days, I would suggest him to see what are the sums in uh, RS Agarwal mm -hmm. or NCRT example that it will do. For 30 days, anyone. NCRT would be better? But, no. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, the difficulty level if is... If you're going the... in a long term, I would suggest RS Agarwal. Mm -hmm. More questions, more... Um, NCRT example or RS Agarwal is just going to give you uh, a briefing about how the questions can be asked. So okay. it doesn't make a difference for 30 days and if you have 7 days, I would prefer him to start uh, doing pre-board papers. Okay. okay. Different schools, it will be uploaded for sure in online. Many schools upload their pre-board papers, let him solve that. Okay, so for uh, so it's going to be like this, when they start their chapter, they're going to learn the chapter, then they're going to solve questions of previous question papers. Yes. And then they're going to take pre-board questions of pre-board papers of different schools and then they're going to solve those. If yeah. they've got seven days of time. Yeah, of, for seven days of time. For 30 days, uh, they need they can just go with their NCRT, NCRT or, or RSA. Or RSA or or and start and if, if they still have time, let them uh, do pre um, this thing. Previous pre year. Yeah, previous papers. years. Pre-board okay. papers. Pre-board papers of different schools. Got it. Uh, now, so so Kaustab, the thing is, I know that you went to tuitions. Yeah. And of course, even after tuitions, you've actually watched YouTube or you've like studied by your own, called up your friend and all that. So I wanted to ask you, so the ones right who are between say having 7 days and 30 days, 7 days left or 30 days left, uh, what resources do you suggest for them to watch and learn from because they don't have a tutor nor do they have their teachers, they just have their phone and internet. So which, where do you think is the best uh, place for them to learn mathematics online? Online um, there is Vedantu, okay. YouTube, it's all free. And that's actually really helpful. That's what I did. Okay. If I didn't understand concepts, especially I was little finding difficulty in coordinate geometry. So I used it. Uh, I used YouTube. YouTube, it's very helpful. Okay. Uh, so you 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 watched uh, videos from Vedantu, 
and, and YouTube. Actually, you know the best part is mm, in YouTube. Okay, the question, whichever question you type, there's an explanation for each question. Oh, that's beautiful, right? So there's someone, some other other dude who's who's explaining how to solve that uh, yeah. particular question. So you don't need to worry. You will find every question's answer in okay. YouTube, Vedantu, Topper. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Mm. Awesome. So all in all, uh, I want you to conclude this entire. uh session for math hmm. can you just tell the viewers uh in in conclusion ki how do you go with math how do you go about it as a subject how do you write notes and uh, if you were stuck somewhere uh which where, where do you go search for the answer okay so every day one hour that, yeah as i said before one hour uh you sit so first thing is uh i open my textbook i see what kind of questions are there so i see which are the challenging ones i note it down i solve it again and the ones which i know i'll just revise them through my class work or the previous uh, yeah through my class work then the ones which are challenging i focus more on them so i see them how they if they have asked or if they have been asked in the previous year's papers or they've been asked in the reference books I'll see how they have been asked and I'll solve them for the ones which are challenging to me. And then uh, uh so notes I would um, so each chapter yeah no just strengths and weaknesses so in this chapter in this chapter this question is challenging so I write this I see and if I'm stuck I you just use Google Lens okay. see the question search it online you get it got it got it got it amazing. So uh can you tell the viewers if it is possible to score at least 70% in math specifically if they have no clue about the subject and they've just got 7 days to uh the exam to write the exam it is possible 100% possible it is possible 100% 70% yeah for sure pakka in 7 days yeah because i have seen friends who haven't yeah who have actually done that who have got 69% 80% in 7 days in 7 days in seven i guess days. arya also like the last one month or something he uh you know like sat his ass up yeah. and studied he like got a 85% shishe my friend he studied 4 days before exam mathematics mathematics 4 days yeah okay he got around 78% 78% 78% okay so kaustub uh, thank you for being part and thank you for explaining on how to go about with mathematics to score out of out uh, in 10 standard uh, i wish you all the luck all the best for 11th and 12th and the upcoming years thank you thank yeah. you thank you for joining the video thank you yeah. thank you bye chalo <laughs> <laughs> let's end it my style so uh. chalo bye bye